Hi. Today, I'll walk you through how to build a SQL agent using Lizer Agent Studio. But before we dive in, let's first understand what a SQL agent is and the kind of applications you can build with it. A SQL agent is an AI-powered agent that connects to a database, understands the structure of its tables and columns, and enables users to retrieve insights without writing queries. Now, imagine building an agent on top of this. Any user without any SQL knowledge or direct database access can simply ask a question in plain language and get the answers they need instantly. Think about building an agent for your CEO. Your CEO wants to track business performance, like sales figures, customer activity, or product trends. Instead of manually querying a database, they can simply ask, what were the sales of product X last month compared to last year, same month? And the agent fetches the answer instantly. No need to understand database schemas, query structures, or technical details. This opens up endless possibilities for AI-driven decision-making across various business functions. Now, let's understand how to set up a SQL agent. This is your data connector screen. You get to see a lot of databases listed down here. You can enter the credentials of your database, enter the information here, click on Submit, and your DB gets connected. Once it's done, we'll go to Knowledge Bases, create a new knowledge base, and connect to the database we just added. Provide a name and description. I have named it SQL Test 1. Then select a vector store, select an embedding model, and most importantly, enable Use as Semantic Data Model. This step ensures that it understands that we're building a SQL agent. Now connect your knowledge base to the configured database. Once that is done, we will set up the schema documentation agent. This agent automatically generates descriptions for tables and columns in your database. If you don't have it, you need to create it. Simply give it a name, select an LLM provider, and the model. It will then scan all tables and columns, generating descriptions automatically. Once created, a list of all database tables will appear. Click Configure to refine the descriptions. For example, this table includes columns like Country, Population 2022, Population 2023, Region, and Subregion. The agent will attempt to generate descriptions. However, it might misinterpret certain fields. Let's say you have a column called Price. It doesn't know which currency we're talking about. Or let's say you have a column called Democratic with values of 0 or 1 where one is democratic and zero is non-democratic. The agent might interpret it as completely opposite. To fix this, you can manually edit these descriptions here and ensure accuracy. Once refined, click Save and Add to the Semantic Data Model. It shows up as added over here. Similarly, if you only want a specific table, for instance, just the population table, you can add it, configure, and save. Now that your semantic data model is ready, it's time to build your SQL agent. Simply go to Create Agent. I'll open an existing one. Provide a name, description, LLM provider, and model. Give an agent role and click on Improve. This will automatically generate the role and instructions for your agent. And then we enable the Text to SQL feature over here which allows users to interact with the database using natural language. Now, select the semantic data model, SQL Test 1, and click on Save. Here, we can see that it's configured. Click on Add Agent and proceed to the inference screen to test the agent. Let's ask which is the third highest populated country in 2023. The third highest populated country in 2023 is United States following China and India. So it actually ran a query specifically to understand the third highest populated country. Similarly, let me ask, how has the population of United States grown from 2022 to 2023? It says that the population has grown by around 1.7 million from 2022 to 2023. So as you can see with this setup, Querying your database becomes effortless. No SQL expertise is required. Just ask questions, and the agent retrieves the data instantly.
Thank you.